Um, yeah. And you can't even see the box. What? Uh, uh. I bought a sewing machine. <laughs> um, I bought a sewing machine because I want to start making more clothes again. Backstory enough to justify the purchase, even though I was going to do it anyway, but you know, I don't really have the room for this. Hmm, but here we go. Um, backstory, when I was in the UK, many, 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 many years ago, um, I hadn't even finished school and I really enjoyed making my own clothes. More specifically, I didn't have enough, I should probably put these down. I didn't have enough money to buy really expensive brand Lolita. <laughs> Why are my hobbies all so expensive? Or like cosplay, so I made my own. And I was fairly good at it, actually. So, I, instead of, instead of getting my mum to ship me my old sewing machine from the UK, which would probably cost a fair amount of money or demanding that she bring it to me when, if, she visits. I bought one. I got this from G Market, which is like Amazon in Korea. I hate it when people do. It's like the Korean version of this Western standard. Um, but G Market is like partnered with eBay. So it's like a whole bunch of sellers on one platform you type in what you want and you scroll through and you pick and you pay uh, one of the great things about korean apps and i will go through this in greater detail in a different video is you can actually have the option to bank transfer so you don't have to pay immediately <laughs> so if you think you've made a really bad decision you can cancel it without actually having to go through like the faff of getting a refund because gmarket doesn't refund to your bank account it refunds to G smile cash so you can only use it on G market anyway so yeah I bought a sewing machine it came in this big big box like two days ago and it's just been sat in our hallway taking up room and um, being awkward for the dogs to get past so I got it from Hyundai mall so it's like an official legit place it's not like a sketchy seller where I'm not going to get um, like an actual proper product. It cost me 181,301 which is I don't know conversion charts off the top of my head uh, one two pounds cries an exchange rate 121 pounds at 92.2p which isn't the most expensive sewing machine on the market, fully aware. Um, I think the one that I had in the UK was more expensive. It was either a brother or a singer. I think it was a singer because um, it was purple. <laughs> I'll probably find a picture of what it looked like and then we'll work out if I was right or wrong. Was it a brother or a singer? Future fee, help me out. So, let me open this box. Ugh. I love it. We love to see a box inside a box inside a box. So, this is the, this one's the extras, so I'll open that one first because it's smaller. Um, horrible question is, is there a reason that I wanted to start making my own clothes again? Uh, yeah, Korea is like, thoroughly entrenched in fast fashion and the quality is not great so pretty much just figured that I could make stuff myself like upcycle thrift change a bunch of stuff oh they came in a little box so 
So I have a double welting pipe. A double welting foot or a piping foot. I've got a pin tuck foot. I've got a bead foot. I've got an invisible zipper foot. Yes. Um, an overcasting foot. Useful. A roller foot. Also useful. Um, a quarter inch quilting foot. Um, a satin stitch foot. Yes. A shearing foot. Yes. Um, a cording foot. Don't usually. Open. Sure. Um, an open toe embroidery foot. I prefer the circle ones, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, a quarter inch hammer foot. A bias binder foot. Yes. A Teflon zigzag foot. And a blind foot. Do love a good blind hem. And they came in this little red box, and it all looks like. Ooh, ooh foam. Can't let the doggies get that. Ah. This is one of the reasons that I actually. Um, got this listing rather than any of the other listings really because they all came with just like the machine and I wanted something a little bit extra because all of my sewing equipment of course is in the UK and where am I not in the UK um, and like, I'm not going back anytime soon let's be real so inside this box you can see it Ta -da. Like thumbnail shot, just huge box. Ugh. Eesh. Okay. Um, this is a sim a singer simple three two two one, and you can see on the side. It looks like this. You've got all the stitch details on this side. It is all in English. Wonderful. Um, not that, you know, Korean would be a problem. It doesn't look like it's been opened before, but the tamper seal is like... Let me show you. It doesn't, like, you can't see that it's, like, actually been off, like, pulled off either end, but, like, someone's had a go at that. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like it when that happens. Like, hey, you know, I broke the seal now, so. Ew, she cute, she cute, she in protective facing. They gave me red thread. <laughs> I could do contrast stitching on the green fabric that I bought, but I don't have any upper body strength. Yay! Ooh. There she is. As long as it's not breaking the machine, it's fine. Ah, oh. Are you threaded? That's really cute. <laughs> um, I don't remember my machine in the UK coming like this at all. Hang on. Wind the bobbin up. Do do do. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a kindergarten teacher yet? Right, that's as far as that's gonna go because it's knotted. Oh, it's one of, okay, it's one of those. Oh, it doesn't stand up nicely. Here she is. Ah. Um, they've actually put like a little sample in the, um, I can't English today. They've got a little bit of sample fabric which has some sample stitching on um, underneath the press of it. And yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's very, it's a very basic machine. Um, I say that like I'm a pro. I'm not. I'm self taught and I enjoy sewing. But yeah, 
Um, it's got everything that I'd need. It came with, obviously, the um, pedal. It's got the handy little compartment where you can store all your bobbins um, and like seam rippers and things like that. Oh. And then we have the underneath part with my sewing machine terminology is terrible but it's a simple machine and it's cute and I love I love it I love it I was obviously going to love it I'm not gonna buy something that I automatically hate I'm very excited to start using it I have bought some fabric from Etsy and I've got some accessories that I need like fabric scissors and things the only thing I don't have is room uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> Jason <laughs> sorry 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 but uh, making things like m I've been trying to move away from really cheap badly made bad quality um, poor material fast fashion because it doesn't last I did a closet purge two I want to say it, it wasn't that long ago, like a week ago, um, I did a closet purge where I got rid of a lot of tops and some dresses and I need to go through and do like skirts and jeans and trousers um, because a lot of them are just, they don't fit right, the fabric's not good quality, the seams are, like, the seams are pulling or they're ripped or they're fraying and a, with a lot of that kind of stuff I can just cut it up and use it for other projects because I can sew things now. Um, I do have some ideas in the works. The first thing that I'm going to make is this pinafore dress that if you spend any time around me in real life, I'm obsessed with this green kids Zara pinafore dress and I found a vintage pattern, uncut vintage pattern also on Etsy, not sponsored by Etsy, but Etsy is magic. Um, and now I can start that project. I do need to get more spools of thread and yeah. I'm genuinely so happy. This is such a cute little machine. I, it doesn't have a cover, which doesn't have a cover. No, it does have instructions though. Right, let me check before I throw. <gasps> it does have a cover. Ah! I was just gonna throw the box away. That's terrible, isn't it? Hold up. I found. Oh, a running, a walking foot? Is that what that's called? Or is that a buttonhole foot? That might be a buttonhole foot. That's a sizable hole. I have I don't know what this is <laughs> um, I have another oh this is the cap to protect the bottom of it if I'm using like slippery fabrics I have more needles I saw one of the things that I always went through when I was sewing um, like skirts and or um, like the big poofy Lolita skirts when you have so much fabric and you're trying to like pleat things and you're using so many needles. I have um, a seam unpicker, seam ripper. Yay! <laughs> More bobbins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was such a good purchase. Um, woo! Use this okay. Um, one of those machine feet that lets you go on like either side. Terminology. I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's going to wind something. Wind something up for me. Let's see. Then I've got three little spoolies, another a clear foot, clear foot. Clear foots, clear feet are great. And an extension y thingy for somewhere. So, all of that is going to go in here like my mama taught me. 
Ah, oh, I'm so happy. So happy. And she's got a little cover so the doggies won't get to her. So yeah, um, that was me unboxing my sewing machine. Not a lot to this video other than like what it says on the tin. Um, super excited to get started with some products. If you, <laughs> products. Um, super excited to get started with some projects. So if you want to follow along um, for some stuff, like I'm still going to do my regular schedule, like regularly planned like fashion and beauty content, um, just like intersperse it with some projects if I find them interesting enough. I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, follow me on all my socials also if you want to, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye bye! She's a cutie!